Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to We The Revolution. Now apparently this game is about the French Revolution or is during the French Revolution, I'm not sure. But it has something to do with the French and some, something to do with the Revolution. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be playing. We The Revolution. Now I haven't been posting any videos for a while now and there's a good reason for that but we're not gonna go into that. We're gonna go into the Revolution. So I'm sorry if I don't understand what's going on because I don't, my knowledge on the French Revolution or the Revolution in itself or the French in itself is very limited because I wasn't taught in school. So I'm gonna try my best to understand what's going on, but if anything passed by my head, I am Father. so sorry. Oh, are we starting? Clabate. I am here. I am here. I am here. Hello. Do you hear me? I. I think so, yeah. I gave you the best I could. Why did you disown me? I have your blood in my veins. How could you? Why did you grieve for him? He was nothing. I am better than he was. People will follow in my footsteps. Father. Ooh. Okay, that, that gave him chills. So is that what's going to happen? Is that like the end of the story? Or is that like before whatever the game is about? I'm not, I'm not sure. Fran, France, 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 turn of the 18th century. Is it France or France? How do you pronounce it? Is it France or France? French, France, France, French, French, France. I love the artwork. The artwork is really good. It's, it's a, oh, I love it. Okay. Uh, what's so funny, fellas? Oh. oh dear god, he he wiped his barf on the flag. Is that a flag? A flag of the Confederates, isn't it? Isn't it? Am I wrong? I feel like I'm wrong, but it's a flag. And he's wiping his barf on the flag. Oh dear god. Please tell me I'm that guy because he looks really cool. I mean like how many time how many people do you know can say that they barf on the flag? Okay. Remind me next time that I want to stop drinking this cloudy rot gut. Remind me before I drink it. We're disgracing Themis. Ha! Is someone coming? Is someone coming? Hello? Matilde? Ma Matilde? 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 Fiddly? 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 Yeah, cool. This was bound to happen. I told you, Bernard. Okay, so these three are family. Papa, you said we would go. You promised. Papa had a lot of work. You're not their papa. Am I their papa? Am I the, am I the dad? Am I the dad? Am I? Yes, a lot of heavy glasses. You promised me. I can't anymore. I'm fed up with asking. Mama is angry because... Quiet. Today, your favorite son wanted to prove he was more honorable than his father, so he started a fight. A five-year-old boy, for God's sake! That's not that weird. Sorry. Our neighbors wanted you to explain that to them. But, well, you were fighting for justice and an inn. Damn you, you bloody drunk. They became British in my voice. I'm not supposed to do that. I should I should be more French, shouldn't I? But they're speaking in English, mother. Okay. Whoa. Oh, so I'm a judge. Okay, I get I, I get that. I'm a judge. Is it this is this kid my son? Am I going to like oh so the story is me just Okay. Documents and letters. Drag and drop documents to manage their layout. Click to display their content. Okay. Events, this thing. React to events in Orinda may have severe consequences. Okay, get that. What else? Notebook. Review detailed information about current events, actions, and characters. Okay, good. Verdict. Consider the effect and decide defendant's fate. Okay. Option. Change the game setting. Hierarchy. Review the current balance of power and your position. Does that have. 
Does the balance of power have anything to do with me? I thought I'm a judge. What does the judge have anything to do? I don't understand. I'm, I might be someone in power, actually. Intrigues are complex conflicts between you and another political player. A defeat may turn out to be disastrous. I see. Influence points are the main currency in the game. Use them wisely. Pay close attention to the changes in your influence and relations with factions. I see. Okay, global modifiers. Isn't that notifications? Some of your decisions and changes in the worlds of the game may cause global modifiers to come into action. These factors affect relations, reputation, and influence. I see. Okay. So, uh, there was a lot of things. Um, what was this? Hierarchy? Okay, let's just look at this. Uh, okay, that's me. Oh, I'm Fiddly. Ah. A judge of the little revo- a, 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 a judge of the revolutionary tribunal. Tri tri a judge of the revolutionary tribunal. Generally considered a drunkard and gambler. A protege of Raymond Devoye. We introduce him to the world of law. Okay, okay, so I am a judge. I'm a judge. All right. Um, what was this again? This was nothing. I can't do this. Notifications. Nothing. Prologue. Okay, this is my influence point. This is my verdict. Punishment. Make the most important decision. Condemn the defendant or deem them not guilty. Signature. Sign document to legitimize your verdict. Okay, I see. All right. So I can't do that yet. Um. Uh, is this notebook? Oh wait, relations. Negative relations with factions mean negative consequences for your, for you. Example: the fervor in Paris rising. Okay, what's this? Reputation. Reputation impacts everything in the world of the game. Factions, family relations, audience attitude, the fervor in the section, and even the ability to persuade other characters. You have set amount of influence influence points per day. In the future, you'll be able to increase this limit. Okay, so it's basically like a game. Uh, if I don't know if you played it, but it's like papers, please kind of thing. I think it's almost like that. There's a lot of things to remember, a lot of things to take note of, and it affects what happens after that. Everything is affected, but it's a bit more difficult, I guess. This is the le revolutionaries as well as the common folk. Ah, ooh. So I'm influencing the revolution. Okay, hey, what's this news? Make your decision. Each action may require a different number of influence points and have a different chance of success. Consider it carefully. Okay. I don't think I should see this first. Okay. Maybe I should. Your addictions are no longer a secret. The fact that other children are bullying your son because of them is a minor problem. But who is spreading those rumors? It's likely to be one of their parents. They could have whispered into the children's ear who they shouldn't play with or and why. They might even have spiced the story up with a lie. But who will hear it next? Um, maybe we should talk eye to eye. Yeah, let's talk eye to eye. Okay, alright, okay, that's I got I did influence point and then there's notification influence point negative one. All right, uh, I didn't do anything. No, I didn't increase my relations. Nothing is there. Okay, fine. All right, that didn't affect me too much. Uh, okay, let's go to the case file. Okay, we have not expected this kind of behavior from your son, although apparently we should have. Innocent should. Some of them are in red. Are, is there any reason? Oh. Innocent child's play turned into an assault on our children. Oh wait, no, no, get up. Wait, what is this? Chances, traps. Oh, oh no, this this is gone. Sure, lot homes on me. Okay, hang on. The younger one, Antoine, now has a chip front tooth. We hope that you will punish your child accordingly. Should the situation repeat itself, we will react more decisively. I'm sure we can deal with the gambler and drunkard, even if he is a judge. We will not let our children be hurt. Okay, so basically my child fought with other kids because he's trying to protect me. Trying to protect my honor, trying to just say that everyone else is wrong. Okay, I can't unlock it. Unlock questions. Okay, this is apparently from what I've read, like, quickly. It's like a Sherlock Holmes thing. I have to decide which questions to ask, which to not ask, and then what it's about. Course of events, ex Continuating circumstances? Victim, okay. Uh, victim is would be, uh, let's see, let's see, child's play. Child's play would be a course of events, is it? Yes, cool. Alright, I did that. So, possible mistakes. I have two possible mistakes. Questions to reveal three. Okay, number of traps one. There's a trap there. Traps. Okay, fighting children, uh, course of events. Alright, cool. I have two more. Uh, let's chip tooth with the victim. Alright, and. Possibility of repeating. This is a trap, isn't it? This seems like a trap because, like, when every everything is according to the 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 letter, the prob the problem, like finding children, chip tooth, injure Anthony, child's play. Everything was in in the problem. This the possibility of repeating is a trap. It's a trap. It could trap me. Is it? I don't understand the trap problem. Um. 
This is a trap. I should go to injured and victim. Alright. Cool. Okay. Uh, gather information influence with jury's attitude by questioning the defendant. Okay. To ask questions, you have to first unlock them in the inquiry linking menu. Being in the ju jury's good grace allows you to find out which way they will sway after you have asked a question. Okay. Um, question defendant. How. Uh, okay, what exactly? Well, we have four questions that we have to ask. So, I think. I don't know if it depends on which question is asked first and whether every anything is unlocked after that. But I think. Uh, how did you play turn into a fight? Our neighbors, Antoine and John, Jean, Jane, Jean, they were saying mean things about you. We were playing guards and they asked me to pretend to be a drunkard whom they would, you know. You were both, you were fighting both of them at once. I had to. Um, who started the fight? I can tell you who ended it. Um, I think it was me. I kicked the one on the left and then wanted to get the one on the right, but, but they ended it. They knocked me to the ground, paid me back for hitting them. Okay, what exactly were they saying? Are you too drunk to guess? I was not asking you. They were telling, yelling that you are, well, I told them that it's not true. And they started calling me names. They called me a drunkard son. I feel like I am supposed, I am guilty in this. I feel like I am guilty and I should be the one to be thrown into jail. I'm sorry, my child. I am so sorry, my child. Did you really, big, uh, bleh, did you really break Antoine's tooth? Frederick's just a child. I don't know. I don't think so. Did you hit him in the face? I think I kicked him, but not that hard. Okay, so you kick a kid in the face. Uh, there's no more questions. Uh, I can't do anything, so we gotta go with the verdict. Um, he fought the kid. He started the fight. It, he did start the fight, of course. It doesn't matter. Because for me, if you start the fight, you are guilty you, no matter what the circumstances. So, right now, the problem is whether or not my son is guilty in the fight. He sh he he there was another approach, he could have just ignored him. So, I'm sorry, but you're guilty. My wife's gonna kill me, but you are guilty. So, I'm gonna sign this. Ah, cool, sign, look at that! Alright. Unfortunately, you should not start fights regardless of the reason. Good job. Those children are so small and they already know the truth. The father of my children is a lying drunk and a gambler. Bernard used to worship you, but he soon grew up. Now it is Frederick's turn to learn the truth that echoes in the streets. He's no longer fearing your anger. He knows that your threats are empty. Frederick is only starting to learn the truth about his father from the streets. I was unaware that Matilda had such temper. As was I. We will wait outside, as always. Your w a mother, a mother will always have a temper. A wife will always have a temper. It's just the thing that happens. They will always have tempers. Paris. Paris. Paris, boy! <laughs> Liberté! Liberté! We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. I love the polygons of the... of the art. I really, I really, really love it. It looks really good. Whole families took to the streets. There was another game that had this kind of art. I don't remember what it was, but there was another one. Was it re it looked seen. exactly like that. It has polygons and stuff. I really like polygon art because I feel like it's it's not that it's easy to make. I just feel like I am able to do this more than actually making like a much prettier art. Like this is in my league. I can actually try to attempt this kind of art. It's really pretty. I like it. Act one. Ooh, we're liberty. Day one. Okay, we're in the game now. I guess we're gonna be a judge, baby. We're judging. We're judging now, baby. Yo, oh, baby, baby. We're judging, baby, baby. All right. Expect the sentence. Find out which verdict is expected by the factions and your close ones. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Uh, let's go with. Oh, find out which video is better. Okay, okay, alright. So this, they expected him to go to jail, alright. Okay, no one knows what the verdict is yet. Uh, let's see what we do. Okay, what's this protocol? Protocol. Review the trial's records. 
Nothing. All right. Notification. Nothing. Hierarchy doesn't matter. Um, notebook. Um, modifiers. Nope. Was this full lock? Day one. Blah blah. blah. Influence point plus three. Full lock. Okay. I have plus three. All right. Uh, news. Oh, this is what happens. A change of pleasantries did not take long. Most people stop being brave the moment they face danger. This time, they just could be striped as the judge of the revolutionary tribunal and a one meter long bludgeon in the hand of a guard. Once the last word had left his mouth, the man's gaze dropped to the ground. He did not even look at the weapon held by the guard, who was eager to hear just one word of objection. They should deal with the problem. Okay, so, oh! Oh, this was the, the gossip thing. The gossip thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I did it. Okay, cool. That probably raised some stuff, did it? Oh, wait, that didn't affect. Uh, it didn't affect, it didn't affect. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright. Um, Alright, let's... Okay. Uh, uh, nope, nope, no, 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 no. Case file. Alright, who the hell are you? John Renard, a 45-year-old innkeeper who has been charged with fraud. He is accused of diluting alcohol. Dude, dude, don't mess with people's alcohol, man. No. Oh my god, now I know why they want to put you in jail. You're messing with people's stuff. They're alcohol. People like to get drunk. This is like in the turn of the 18th century. People like getting drunk. It's really good wine. Uh, in this tavern, tricking his clients into paying extra. This is even worse. Guests came with their minds on a set on a specific goal, getting warm and drunk. But instead of staggering out after drinking two pitchers of wine or several pints of beer, they would sit in the inn until morning, still sober and completely penniless. The innkeeper's fraud came to light when one of the discoveries covered the scam and caught the cheater in the act. The man entered the host cellar and witnessed him diluting alcohol on the barrel with ordinary water. As a result, customers received only four parts of what they paid for and one part of the... Well, that's not that bad, is it? Is it? I, I don't drink, so I don't know if that's... Is that bad? Is that bad that they get four parts of what they paid for and one part from the water? It's like he did dilute the alcohol, but not that much, actually. Alright, um, let's see. This is the method. This is the witness. The innkeeper, the motive. Ooh, that's a trap. Caught in the trap. I caught myself in a trap. Adding water. Adding water is the method. Customer drunkenness is the motive. Okay. Oh, I got caught my I caught myself in a trap. God damn. All right, let's start. In difficult times, people like to seek peace at the bottom of a glass. Please introduce yourself. My name is John Renard, Monsieur Le Judge. Nothing but a fraud. Jury. Systematically opposing the opinion of the jury may lead to serious consequences. But the jury might be strong, but sometimes the jury isn't always right. All right. Okay. So we're gonna start this. All right. What's this? Influence on the jury's opinion. This? Oh. Um. Okay, this is a witness, so I shouldn't get a witness in. Um. Okay, let's do this. How long have you been involved in the illegal practice of diluting alcohol? It's not an illegal practice, everyone adds a bit. In your case, it was a bit of wine and water, not the other way around. Was a wine in the, it was a bit of wine in the water, not a bit of water in the wine, was it? No, it was four parts of wine. Four parts of wine. That's fine. How have you been doing this for a long time? A few weeks at the most. It's been hard to earn a living lately. I used to run an orange speed in school. Wine was overspilling the glass. Is there any proof to support his testimony? He lied to his customers. No reason he wouldn't lie in court. Do your clients drink a lot? Tavern regulars usually drink a lot. So you've been selling plenty of wine? Quite a lot, yes. And yet you've been paying taxes on the amount of wine you've bought, not the amount of wine you have been selling. True. You have been paying taxes on four wine barrels, but by adding a quarter of water to each, you have actually made the money for selling five barrels of wine. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's one with ring, but correct. I'm not too good with numbers. You are not good with numbers, yet good enough to have calculated that fraud pays off. I wasn't aware. I will take that answer into account. The judge has exposed the bastard. Okay, that influenced it quite a lot. Okay, Thomas Eclair, come in. 
Please introduce yourself. Thomas Leclerc. I'm a leg yeah, I'm a regular at John Renard's establishment. Questions for the witness. So if I do this I will be I will lock the other question, is it? Um I would like to know how you caught him. How did you catch Citizen Renard in the act of diluting wine with water? I was having one drink after another so I had to, you know. Uh okay, I go I know. So it happened that one time I got lost and instead of, you know, I ended up in the cellar where I saw Renard adding water to the barrels. I see. Yeah, you're you're going to jail, man. I'm so sorry. How do you feel about tricking wary citizens? Terrible. What I wanted was to keep my business afloat. Others don't mess around for sure, no dialogue team will be the end of me. So he decided to commit fraud as to not lose money. If I lose my tavern, my family will starve to death. You have children? I do. One son and two daughters. Time to start saving up for the dowry. Then why don't you send them to work, idiot? Yeah, uh, that's the French Revolution for you. Your children should be sent to work no matter how young they are. Okay. There's no more questions. Okay, so dude, you're you're guilty. You're I'm sorry, you're guilty. I don't think it's like a really bad type of uh it's not really bad. You're not di really doing anything bad. I understand why you do it and I understand what's happening, but like I said, you're guilty. So I'm going to have to verdict you. For now, I'm gonna play long and just say you're going to prison because you are guilty and you should be going to prison. But yeah, all right. All right, verdict down. I sentence citizen John Renard to prison. Let the condemned out. Huzzah! Long live pure wine. Pure wine is expensive, is how expensive is pure wine actually? Is the wine that we have today pure wine or is it uh, diluted wine? No, what I don't know. All right. Moving on. After trial, please kick to move on to the next part. Okay. Next. See you, man. Go to prison. Have fun in prison. Who the fuck are you? May I remind you that you promised to join me. I have a feeling that tonight's moon favors gamblers. So it does not favor spouses. God should grace us with wine who understand the importance of an evening game of dice. They should also know that the right amount of wine guarantees a lucky roll. I should go home. Bring a judge to the game has benefits. Other players will surely not cheat. That is not a strong argument. My name is Jacques Louis David. I am but a humble painter, not a civil tongue judge. You are a sly politician, Jack. As a politician, I understand the importance of keeping promises, and you, my friend, are trying to get out of yours. Um. I could go with you. But I would probably have more problems with that. I'm going home. Not tonight, Jack. I don't know if that has any problems, but we're just going out for a time of drinking and gambling. So it should be fine, right? <laughs> oh, look, it's a heart shaped mashed potatoes. Are you sad because you're not out drinking? Do you have a problem with yourself, my friend? Your wife is happy you're home. Come on, your family is happy you're home. Just be happy you're home. Your family means a lot. Come on. You Why would you get married if you just want to go out? Like, huh. Late evening, the judge's house. Cool. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Do you not want to berate me like you always do? I'm glad you're home. Are you aware that Frederick sometimes imagines you as a deep sea sailor? He dreams that you invite, that you visit these distant countries and have wonderful adventures. But he would rather have you by his side on land. We all want that. I don't want to watch the storm blow your life away and bury it beneath the waves. There are no waves. The storm is getting closer. Dark clouds already hang over the shore. Just wait until they finish building the guillotine. Your oars will break at once and the waves will take you to a place you wish- Oh wow, the guillotine isn't even here yet. Are you serious? Wait, we already know what the guillotine is, just someone hasn't built it yet here. That means there's- in this town, there's no guillotine. We're gonna need a guillotine, people! We're gonna need a guillotine! I need- oh shit. 
No, I'm home. Come on. I tried my best to be a good husband. I tried my best. I am influencing you to be a good husband. You're not doing anything dumb. Place without us. Matilda. Oh, wow. Your family loves you. We won't find you in the darkness that has already begun to reach for you. Oh dear God. I feel sad. Alright, relations with the family, you have to choose an action to see his description. Family actions. Upon returning home, you can decide who would like to spend the rest of the day. Wow, even this has something? Each action will affect the other members of the family as well as their attitude towards you. Uh, each character's attitude can provide you with, with or deprive you of certain bonus. Example, reputation or relations with fractions. Okay. Your younger son is special. His attitude makes the other family members like you slightly more. Take good care of him. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, paragraphs and codes. Influence on reputation, influence on family relation, influence on the people, as well as influence on the revolutionaries. Okay. Um. I think for now we should take care of Frederick for a while. Influence with the family could help a lot. So let's go with evening stroll. Is it with this is evening with grandfather with you? I'm assuming. Uh, evening stroll with. Mm, no 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 no. Let's do something else. Evening with grandfather. Sit down with your father and listen to stories of days bygone. Take your sons to a pro-revolutionary revolution demonstration. Let them see real life up close. Take a friend from evening stroll. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Frederick, come on, okay, everybody gets it, everybody gets it, your wife doesn't like this, okay, alright, let's go, let's just go on an evening stroll with everyone, oh dear god, what's that, influence on the people, okay, okay, oh, you're happy, I'm happy you're happy, Apparently the people doesn't like me. Also, I influence everyone. That means whether or not it's negative or not is different. Ah, okay, I get it. I thought when it says that I'll influence everyone, it will be like positive influence. Today the people of Paris commemorate Jacques... Oh my god, the name. Farah, how do you pronounce this name? Jacques... Guillaume... Guillaume? Guillaume Simon... I'm gonna call you Jack. Jack, mayor of the Tempest. He was lynched by a furious mob for performing his duties to France. This march shall symbolize the unity of our society and the hope that the most violent stage of the revolution is past us. Let us make sure that no other loyals of our farm become victims of such hatred ever again. King Louis the 18th. The 18th. The 18th. Sorry. The 18th. Alright. Simeon was a good loyal officer. Those bastards lynched him for observing the law. Will you join me at the march? Uh, that is a bad thing. I mean, he was performing his civil duty. Yes. We ought to show that we oppose the self-appointed executioners and stand alongside of victims. This would cause the... I wonder why the king has taken the trouble to show up. Louis the 18 marching arm and arm with the people of Paris that is unexpected. King Louis Continue please, I am merely an observer. Do not change your habits for me. I heard a thing or two about a young and ambitious judge in the tribunal. I was curious whether he is guided by justice or by hmm, entertainment as some would say. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you here? Wait, who who the hell are you? How do we start this? Alright, reputation, good relations with wife. Think again better between the two of you. Yay! Good relations with your younger son. Your younger son adores you like he used to back in the better days. Your son's draw. Ah, ah, victorious! Ah, this is. Uh, I'm gonna keep it uh, next to my table. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna be happy. I'm happy. Nothing could. Oh shit. Nothing could happen that would cause me to not be happy. Okay. Alright, uh, influence points, done, done, done. They won common folks plus five, revolutionaries plus three, repetition plus two, okay. Um, repetition plus one, okay, alright. Oh, I didn't mean to close it, stop! This, this, friends and family, okay, I'll show you, alright, alright, fine, fine, alright. 
Um, no events. Go 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 protocol. The thing. Hierarchy. I think as well. Goals. All right. Um. Okay. So, as we can see, the expected sentences is for the revolutionaries wanted him to go to jail, while the common folk want him to be free. Oh, this is difficult, isn't it? Uh, can I see my notebook? Right now, my common folk is in high and my revolution is medium. Um, okay, let's go with the case files. The case file. The defendant is Oliver Mug Muggler. Theft as well as burglary. We have been sentenced to theft and burglary. Theft and burglary. Glory. Alright, this is for your master locksmith who is famed among Parisian burglars as an expert on open unopponable locks. Last month, he was commissioned by the owners of a Parisian glassware, John Root, Lowe's Root, and Ferdinand Southern to construct locks for ornate chests for valuables, presumably as gifts for their wives. Okay. The craftsman praised his latest creation as thief proof. Shortly following their completion, the industrialist houses were hit by a series of burglaries committed by a recent newcomer to Paris, Hector Vian. The thief from Orleans was caught in the air and shot by Ferdinand Southern. Okay. An expensive true god met of Paris with the houses of the recently robbed and the rich mark on it was founded on the deceased. Surprisingly, Salah had given Muggler an identical map as advanced payment. This deposit was in addition to the uh, agreed remuneration. Okay, alright, next page please. Can I go to the next page please? No, 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 I want to go to the next page. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's how I look at the next page! Oh dear god! This is bullshit. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, further interesting inf information came from the owner of the Ginger Margot Inn. She recalled that on the night preceding the burglary, the also met there with a man she didn't recognize. Based on her description, we were able to identify him as the aforementioned Hector Fian. Oh, dude, come on, that's not good. The man allegedly engaged in even a drink is sponsored by Margot Evidence, a man of Paris found on Hector Fian. Okay. No, it's not good that you actually met with the guy. What? That's not good, is it? Oh, this is not good. Oh, I'm trying to protect you, but you're just not good. Okay, if it's thief proof. Uh, the thief died, anyways. Oh, we have a serial burglaries. Um. Is the thief proof? So, from the occupation, the entire houses were hit by a series of burglaries committed by the recent newcomer to Paris, Hector Vian. The thief of Orleans was caught in the act and shot by Ferdinand Salan. The expensive tour got met of Paris with the houses of the recently robbed industri the industrialist smart on it was found the deceased. Okay, so he had a map. So Salan said that he gave Muggler an identical map. But It could be that he is actually really, really, really just maybe Hector Vian like an evening of drinking. Okay, okay, hang on. Okay, all right. Um, Master Lotsmith is offender's personality. Okay. Uh, map of Paris is evidence. Drunken evening. The course of events. I don't care about that. No, 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 no. Course of events. Lot construction. This one, oh, that's bad. Uh, course of events, okay. So, Master Locksmith. I have two more questions, which is you. I don't, there's no trap, so I just have to get it right. Marks on the map would be evidence, and famous thief would be. But the famous thief is dead. Here's the thing: I can't accuse the famous thief, can I? Uh, course of events. Evidence. Yes. Okay, sir. Let's. Robbing the Burgess is no crime, according to the case file. You are a citizen all of. No, robbing of anyone is a crime. Okay, robbing of anyone is a crime. It's a crime. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move you. Going to the case file, you are a citizen Oliver Muggler. Is that correct? Indeed, it is, Monsieur the Judge. May I have a request? I would like to sit down. I am an old man, you see. Basic respect for the jury requires that you remain standing. Does the name Salan, Rude, and Rooks mean anything to you? Why are you so determined to harass an old man? 
They sound like the names of my debtors. Debtors? They are the victims of the activities you conducted. You mean lots meeting? Alright. <coughs> Yeah, let's do this. Rumor has it that you are one of the best locksmiths in Paris. I should deny it for modesty's sake, but I will not. That cannot be true, though, as a random thief for onions will easily op to, to open here. Whether he must have been one of the best thieves in onions. Let's be serious, most of the judge. Every lock can be picked with the right talents, even my locks. True. True, 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 true. Okay, you were commissioned by the victims to make lock chest locks. You were commissioned by the victims to make chest locks. Who installed them? It was me, naturally, and all in agreement with the contract. My job was to prepare and install the locks, and the employees was only to come and see whether the work was completed and pay, of course. Was the installation carried out at your workshop? No, on site, at the client's property. None of those idlers bothered to deliver the trunks to my workshop, so I had to strain my own legs. Does that mean you need to address the subject with them? How else would I get there? Blindfolded and on a wagon? I, I, I get the feeling that I am exact stupidly dumb. I mean, like, the questions asked are s really dumb. Um. All right, let's go with the map. Do you recognize this map? No, I don't recall ever seeing it before. Ferdinand Salan claims that he gave you this map as advance payments for your service. He claims what? That wicked, wicked, wicked wretch of a second-rate merchant. He gave me a scrap of paper as payment for making three lots and says it's a. Oh, uh, he did give it to you, didn't he? So this map belongs to you. It doesn't. So where is the map that you received from Mrs. Zalan? I lost it, but it wasn't even worth a loaf of bread, so I surely won't shed a tear. But if you have it, maybe you stole it from me. You better make a note that Oliver Muggler demands remuneration from Rook, Rooks and Salan. Ah, how much did you charge for your services? Three thousand francs. Tidy sum that is. If you're a master lost me, you charge that much too. That's, that's quite a substantial fee. Indeed, that's how much it costs to have high quality locks made by a master with nearly 50 years of experience. And those bastards never paid me a single franc. They don't pay you the agreed amount. Not a franc. I bet that money came out. I beat that money right out of them, but I'm too old for that. You are so innocent, my god. There's nothing. I can't I can't do anything. You are actually innocent. I'm, I'm assuming that you drink with Hector Vian, and then Hector Vian probably took it from you. You know, Hector Vian? This is the first time I've heard the name. It's interesting, I've seen draining several while I wanted to get ginger mugger. Is that a crime? No, but the question is why are you denying it now? Was the drinking speech just a deception for discussing the building? Nobody I had a drink with introduced themselves of Hector. I didn't plan on heist with Hector, Victor or Hugo. I'm a locksmith and I earn good money from it. Burglaries are for fragments without a job. Were you the one who marked the addresses on the trip on the map? I didn't mark anything. The houses of your clients are marked on the map. I don't know who marked them. Maybe you should ask the person you found the map on. Maybe the court made the marks and had no memory of doing so. Do you not think there are too many coincidences in your story? You obtained the map, but lost it, and then it's found on the thief who has robbed your client. I know nothing of coincidences. I only make locks. You give Hector Vian the map. I give nothing to Achilles, Hector, or any other Greek. Call it in the witness, citizen John Rood. John Rood. I will not speak unless called upon. Naturally, of course. What were missing during the burglary? My house was the first one to be robbed. In my case, it was mostly valuables. At Rook's house, he will not say it himself, and I do not want to go to prison. I w it was the letters he had yeah, exchanged over the years with King Louis. Damn monarchist. Salon did not lose a thing. He shot that very in the act. That is what he said. What happened to the items he had stolen? They will still remain unknown. According to Salan. Sorry! <coughs> Hector had nothing with him. Ferdinand suspected he had hidden unvaluable uh, somewhere. He hit the other items before robbing the last house. Strange. Hmm. Advance payment in the form of a map is disappearance, the murder of a burglar, and the lack of payment for services. This is advanced payment in the form of the man. It all makes a rather strange story. A suspicious one, too. I do not. What are you mumbling? If I say something, will I be free? He knows something. Please testify what you know immediately. 
that Matt was silent side He told the thief about the advance payment we gave to the locksmith and proposed that heck. Oh my God, Salan, you f piece of shit. That map was Salan's idea. He told the thief about the advance payment we gave to the locksmith and proposed that Hector steal it. And he did, indeed. But then the bastard robbed us. Later we were forced by Salan not to pay the locksmith because he sent thief after, and that's when we all went down the drain. That's the biggest for you? He fooled them all in one fell swoop. It sounds like Citizen Salan had everything planned. However, there is no evidence to support the claim, but it is Citizen Root that is plotting against his partner and was in frame. And Vian is dead, so he will not be able to shed light on any of this. If I was younger, I'd give Salan a drubbing that picked a good for nothing lying bastard. Please restrain yourself. The testimony of a witness is still not evidence. Neither of Citizen Salan's guilt, nor of your innocence. I was open and victory strong. I understand what you're implying, but since it, if you saw the secret of my lots, then my business will be over. Would spread fast among thieves. Alright. Tell you the truth, everything that happened, you're actually not guilty. That's the problem. You are not guilty. Mm. I'm very close to death. No, I'm risk of okay. Um from what I've seen, you are not guilty. None of what you said was made you guilty. From what happened, even like the testimony of the witness, even if he's trying to frame his friend, it still didn't show that you are guilty. You're still not guilty. So I'm just going to give you an acquittal because we don't have enough evidence to say that you are guilty. The verdict for the son of Mugler is not guilty. Lead the defendant away. Bravo, Mugler! Away with the bridges! To be honest, this does bear the marks of social justice. They will not pay him, so he had them robbed. There is balance here. Good job! I did well. <laughs> I think I did well. Did I? I did well. I am very good at this. I am a good judge. <laughs> Yay. Common 4 plus 9, revolution negative plus 5 against 6. Okay. Uh, am I still... I'm in medium. Okay, I'm still fine. I'm still fine, but with the common 4, I'm high. Powerful. Powerful I am. Look how powerful I am. Next. Uh, we cannot do that. There are court deposits. Well, Matilda did tell me to take care of my study at home. There you go. I know someone who can remove this mark with damage in the map. Oh, cool. Can King the Louis the Sixteenth. We're talking about the maps. There were people who the truly maps. loved him. He reminded the French they had noble ancestors. Oh wait, there was 16. <laughs> I was Do wrong. I'm so dumb. Do by people who are not bearing the burden of responsibility. This saddened me. Someone had advised him to say that. Someone who is well aware of the cold, inevitable wind of change. I did not pity the king, but those who will come after him, as they will not have great ancestors. Frenchman marched in the street of Paris side by side, one life after another, to commemorate Jacques de Lumos Menil, mayor of the Tempest. He was murdered by a furious mob, punished for a law he did not enact, but was obliged to observe. Hmm. Freedom of speech killed him. If you understand it as the right to cast stones to show one's discontent, the right to murder people because you deem them responsible for your miserable life. Surely the people of Paris would prefer if we said that nothing happened. Alright, so the common folk, minus three, the common folk with me is fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, alright, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. Because I, because of my verdict, me and the common folks are not that, that bad. Your son is rather good with the viola. He's both talented and enthusiastic. I would prefer that he was enthusiastic about the law books I've given. Maybe his destiny is to become an artist, not a lawyer. Mother likes to hear me play and there is nothing more boring than law. So he would rather let his career rely on the humans of the people. There are many ways to rescue France. Believe me, our country desperately needs something to ennoble it. The power is in the hands of a simple, illiterate people. Let him rescue their souls with music. That is better than boring laws and clauses. See what you're doing? You're spoiling my child. 
I do not have my own children to spoil, so I am focusing on yours. <laughs> he's he's best he's your best friend, isn't he? He is so your best friend. Speaking of which Oh no 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 <laughs> What was that? <laughs> what did I do? I just said oh no no no. Alright. Locked actions. After various important events, you may find yourself in action forced upon you. On this day, you become the victim of your own decisions. Ah, oh, come on. You tend to parade in memory of the lynch official. Oh yeah, I have. I did say I wanted to go here. Okay, some of you might hate this, but, well. Let's see what happens. Ooh, revolution going down. Ooh, you're going down. Uh, it didn't, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Liberty. That right, is our bad. new it's symbol of freedom. You can pretty still pretty smell pretty the fresh good. wood. Do you feel free Body looking at it? Him. Individuals like us do not need symbols, but France does. Did you hear the news of the day? People are running around like headless chickens and yelling about Louis and his entourage escaping Paris. So, we will not be enjoying the aroma of fresh wood for long. Monuments like that are not installed solely for the purpose of punishing thieves or lesser aristocrats. Do you think it wants to taste royal blood? Louis's flight was a stupid move, yet it seems it was planned. One of us will sacrifice him. That is, if they catch him. Is that why Louis visited us at the court? To manipulate us? Maybe deep in his heart he felt what the builders of the guillotine did. That someone has to be exposed as a traitor. Even if there is none. I don't understand French Revolution. Like, the story behind it. I feel like I need to learn it first before I play this game. Hmm. Welcome, citizen Fidelay. My name is Antoine Quentin Foucault. Oh my god, your name is so long! Antoine Quentin Foucault de Tinville. Oh my god, I'm butchering the French language. I am the public prosecutor that has been assigned to assist at every tribunal trial. Okay, there's a prosecutor now. I should warn you that I am uncompromising, although I hope that we quickly find common ground. In happy news, the construction of the guillotine has been finished. You may begin using it today. Yes, we have seen it. The king is gone. Freeze it! Anyone with information about his whereabouts should immediately disclose it to the authorities. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, uh, that's guilty now. There, definitely. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this video here. This is interesting. This is really interesting, but I don't really understand what's going on. I'm just a judge. No, I don't really understand what's going on. So I feel like if I... Maybe I should... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see my report. Because I don't understand why uh, it's... Con is it considered a treason if the king runs away? Is that considered treason? I don't understand. I really don't understand. I feel like I need to study before I actually play this game. But it's a good game and I really love it. The way everything flows is really good and the story is, story is good. I feel like I can actually learn a lot more playing this game than actually study. So I'm going to stop this video here since we have the guillotine. Next episode, I'm probably going to kill someone. Maybe. Because based on this, the people love it if I kill them and the revolutionaries like it if I let them go. So let's see what happens. I don't know what you do. I don't know what what's, what's your story. So I don't know. So we're going to stop this video here and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.